Hello, people of the internet. Morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy Tuesday once again. Um, I was done with recording stuff for the day, and well, I just off of making a nice, lovely little dinner for myself. And I was, you know, watching YouTube while I eat, as I do on an everyday basis. And I saw my subscription feed, and people were watching 80s is Killing Voice. Well, we're getting around to it right now. I didn't want to wait until tomorrow to do it. Because, well, had this been a normal day, I would have done it tomorrow. But since I don't know if my schedule is going to be free tomorrow to watch this, I'm going to do it now. It is um, almost 9 p.m. here. And um, there we go. That's the right light. Um, well, it is now almost 9 p.m. I've been done with my recording stuff for like two, three hours at this point now. But, well, 80s on Killing Voice. We gotta do it. You... It's like Nardwar. If you know the Nardwar interviews, it's like, well, it's 80s. We gotta check it out. So, 80s little episode on Dingo Killing Voice. Oh, hell yes. Let's go check this out one time. Here we go. Knowing this is an 80s killing voice, I reckon I'm probably going to be one singing along, two dancing along, and three making myself like a right idiot. Because um, I'd like to think I'm very familiar with 80s stuff. So we are on the standing desk. Look at all. So much room for activities. I can go all the way back here. I can come all the way up here. And well, if you see me dance around, you know exactly why. Because this is 80s we're talking about here. So 26 minutes of 80s magic to get through. I reckon let's buckle up and get her going one time, so here we go. I haven't seen what songs they do apart from, you know, the songs in the title, and even those I haven't really read any. Very clearly, so. What up, Mingi? Hello, gentlemen. Oh god, I just had a thought, how am I gonna make thumbnails for this? There's so many of them. Oh, and no English captions yet. I checked before we started recording. I reckon we'll probably get work from the most recent album. I mean, that's why they're here, but... Oh, hello, Wave. It's been a long time since I've listened to you. Let's go. Oh my god! Yo, peep the bright vocals to start. I need to listen to Wave more. Just going on. What do we say? Hakuna Matata Oh, 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 Hi, Jomo. Okay. I've forgotten how just pretty wave is. How many water bottles does Mingi have? Oh my goodness, he's got like three or four water bottles down there. Okay. What you gonna say? Sit back and relax, man. Don't you wanna bad man? I got time, but it's not for you, bro. Don't you realize what I'm saying? Let's go! 
Det här fasar och fått bli så hard on the song that's this intense. I would love to experience a deep live at some point, man. Come on, everybody! Bingo! Slow it down, make it bouncy. Jig and boots and fly. John Donna Spicy. Chung and got your vibe. If you wanna know how, I can show you this song is nuts. Oh my god. Damn, make it bouncy. Jig and boots and fly. John Donna Spicy. Chung and got your vibe. If you wanna know how, I can show you right now. We need to bounce, bounce. We need to be the fly, fly. I still think this is this is like a debut song for the ages. Good, my God, this has come swinging. I should fish your face from that you're right, you gotta pass Yeah, good up, she's young, you're ready, could you be tell you end? You did have to do your ass, all the mama go to the All the things you can go We're more than more than play, we're gonna go to the end We're gonna go to the end No one to tell me, we'll be there We'll be there, we'll be there Set one, two, three, and one, two, three, let's go Oh, we got a glimpse of that bridge in there at the end. Another song I don't listen to a whole lot. Yeah, I, this might be the 18, one of the 80 songs that I do not have a lot of mileage out of. Oh, 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 yes. I don't know who, I, I'm assuming it's Jungle doing the vocal run there, but that's very much enough. Show it off with the finger wiggle. Ooh. Ooh, it got very pretty there. Hold on a second. What? What other songs are on Treasure Episode 1? This is this feels brand new to me, but I'm pretty sure I've listened to this album before. Oh, it's the second off of the Pirate King album, okay. I kinda like it, it's, I love the anthem vibes from it. And to think, they debuted with both this and Pirate King, god damn. Yeah, remind me to playlist of that. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite 80s titles ever. It was also my first 80s song that I ever found. Talk about starting off on a high note, eh? <laughs> So that's what Paul is saying there. Do 
You gotta do it, everybody. One, two, three, let's burn! You gotta, you gotta pull the pull up, right? song still hits four years later. Oh. Another one of the banger 80s titles that I found first. But I kind of like worked my way back for an answer. But I feel like if I was ever a sport, sporting athlete that had to choose like a walk-on song, it would be this. Oh, with the bullet, bullet, I look in there, okay. And you gotta. You see, someone gets it. To this day, whatever I'm doing, if this song pops up on the Spotify shuffle and I'm walking about, I have to just. Mm. Possibly controversial opinion, this is not a tight title track that I listen to a whole lot. I don't really, it's not up there for 80s tracks for me. I don't know why though. It's a perfectly good song. It's actually a very complex song, but it's not one of my favorites. A lot of people really like this song, though. I mean, all power to them, but... Maybe I gotta give this song another chance. What happened there? Okay, so that's why Mickey has like three or four bottles of water because he's putting. the water question. <laughs> I didn't realize that Minky's delivery was that strenuous on a lot of these songs. Let's go, Captain. Let's go. I got it back. I really hope we get uh, Halavia in this. I mean, if we don't get it, I'm, I'm, I'll be okay. I'm pretty well fed at this point already, but... 
But man, I, I would kill the hills if the holiday is alive. I kind of like that song gave it that almost like spoken like shouted element there instead of going melodic how it normally goes. Oh my God! 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 Oh Any more like summary stuff from 18th this year? Or if Golden Hour Part 1 is just gonna be the release and we probably won't get one until like November, maybe? It might be, be, even be the only 80s release we get all year. But if we get another November release or like December release from 80s, I'm not gonna complain at all. Alright, turn it off, let's make it louder! Cause I got the feeling Ooh, come on, give it the extra little warble in there. Yeah, I miss that song, man. Oh, Utopia too. Where go? We got a little summary block going. Okay. In my dream today, I'm sure that we will find something. But it turns out, song and George, I got my head by my mind. She could have gotten sketch back. But do I mean that though? I'm fine. You might have go out though. I stay calm. Don't just have to check on the set. Get a meal. I'm making close to all right. Tell me that you know more. Do it for so long. I get tired in the go. Don't you do it. This song will forever be a mystery to me, because I swear, he has like five different idols in one, and you never know what version you're gonna get. You're gonna get the- and that's not just the vocal either, and like the dance performances as well, you don't know what type of song you're gonna get, it's always like a lottery, isn't it? Wow. Wow, that fly killing voice. I feel like that's very refreshing because we've gotten a lot of intense songwa recently. Fever Epilogue, I think to this day, is my favorite 80s album they've ever done, full stop. Act like Turbulence and Be With You being two of my favorite softer 80s songs, with, you know, getting the Kingdom songs in there as well, and The Real. It's hard to talk that. I want to be where you at, fix 
socks on. For me, that's like the most memorable I would have like fix on that we've gotten from Mingi in an 80s song. I don't know why, it just always resonated with me. Good transition actually. Turbulence followed up by fever. I like that. They're kind of similar songs, aren't they? A little bit slower. Like fever's definitely a little bit more intense, but they're both kind of anthem in a way. You know, I never realized, like, un until hearing him back to back, how similar Turbulence and Fever is. Or at least how it listens. I like that. Okay, shout out to Cake Family. Oh my god. Me <laughs> too. Oh, we're not getting work yet. I've been searching for an empty box, that's what I need I guess we're kind of getting like a softer look? Not gonna complain about that Do not have a lot of mileage out of this album yet Son, where are you running off to? <laughs> Come back to us, son. <laughs> Duality of 80s, man. They can have the most intense, hard hitting title track in the world, and then get on B side, and you just get this. It's so pretty. It twinkles, doesn't it? This is the first time I'm hearing this, but it feels like I'm here listening to this for the first time again. Give me the vocal harmonies, guys. Get out. Get out. Get out. Bro, Jingo. Let's go. I need to forget this room. Maggie, go in the shoe. Yeah, what a time episode finale will was. It is amazing how Minji's vocal cords can hold up to all this abuse. It is like, there is so much force going through that voice of his. But he just does it time and time and time again. Ah. <laughs> I was listening to this this morning when I was coming back from the uh, pharmacy to pick up some cleaning supplies. This while you're walking is crazy. That, pur that rolled R in the purse still is like goosebumps on my neck. Gotta work, 
있으면 착착 준비되는 골든 플레이 이제 만 도착 LA to do Kyo Listening to it this way work is a very unique title track isn't it And yet it still feels like 80s Adios Oh, there is some Spanish in there. Gotta work, gotta make that money, make first. Gotta fuck up, so I make it turn. Make a real rush, you're the city. Gotta, gotta, gotta work. Gotta make that money, make first. Gotta fuck up, so I make it turn. Gotta get that, gotta get work. Gotta, gotta, gotta work. Yeah, when you listen to this song when you're walking about, oh my god, the extra little like pep in your step you get is crazy. Man, they are a lot of fun. I will, one day, one of my K-pop bucket list things, 80s live. We'll just see anyone live, really, but... Man, that went by so quick, though. Oh? Oh, Encore? We're gonna get it. Oh, this isn't the uh, Fever Epilogue, or uh, Epilogue one. This is the Kingdom version. It's been a long time since I've heard this version. Oh, come on, go! <laughs> 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 Again, I would love to experience this live. <laughs> Are we gonna see those two come back around or no? R and all. No, we aren't. Damn. Is that fun or what? Oh my goodness. It's. I love these dingo killing voices because. Well, it depends on what group it is. For me, as like someone who's very familiar with 80s at this point, this is just a way to just enjoy myself, have a little party of my own, right? With a group that I don't know very well, it's a way of kind of quick flying through their entire discography so I can learn what their music is like a little bit better. Either occasion, I love how effective Killing Voice is in me just enjoying the music that they do. For me, specifically with 80s, Apart from like one or two songs, which I surprisingly don't really know all that well, these are all very familiar songs to me. ATs are one of those boy groups that, for me, are in contention for my alt boy group spot. That is currently being challenged by on and off at the moment, but if I had to pick a boy group to take that top spot, it would be either ATs or on and off at this point. ATs. For as long as I've been listening to them, have always brought heat, they've always brought the energy, but they've always made music fun. 
I think that rings the most true during Fever Epilogue for me, but whatever the theme of the comeback is, whatever the music is, whatever style the music has been written in, whatever the packaging, whatever the concept visually is, 80s has always made music fun. And the fact that they have done this for 10 mini albums worth of music is so impressive to me. Because 80s have been around for what, coming up to 5 years this year? That's a decently long time, but if you really think about the amount of music that ATs has dropped since debut, there's so much of it, but all of it is so much fun. And the fact that there's so many people out there who just know that ATs just means fun, performance-oriented, powerful music, I think they've really established what their sound is. And it's almost like this 80s music can be defined by one word, 80s, and people will understand exactly what you're getting involved with. I don't think you can do that with a lot of groups. And that what is what makes 80s stand out for me, and have always made 80s stand out for me, is the fact that their music can be described by the group name and everyone will get it. I love them, man. I love them. One day... One day I would love to be able to feel the power of AT's live. I haven't gotten the chance. The schedules haven't really lined up. Also, AT's tickets are actually quite hard to get a hold of, especially if you're abroad. But I think I missed a show in London while I was still living there because London tax is expensive. And I don't think they've had a Tokyo show yet since I've been here. But whenever they decide to do another East Asia leg of a tour... And they come over to my neck of the woods. Oh, you bet your ass I'm going to try and get a ticket. Oh. But that's for later down the road. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you had a lot of fun along with me. One last request from me today. As per the usual, let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just... One small act of kindness to me brighten up someone else's day to day and know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy in there who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.